social decision-making person? Nice. I need your help. Let's pat our laps and rumble our feet. Make those earthquakes together. Welcome and good morning for our Knights of the North Castle service. Let's stand and sing as we sing out Knights of the North Castle. For all of our VBS folks, you should know this one. Feel free to stand and move around with us. Here we go. Two, one, two, three, four. Jesus 
cause and we will follow cause we've been given all we need we are we are the knights of north castle we are we are ready for battle wherever we go we know we know that we won't we won't ever be shaken we wear we wear the armor that saves us we are, we are the Knights of North Castle. We got the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the breastplate of justice, and the belt of truth, shoes of peace to go spread the good news. We got the sword of the spirit, the shield of faith, the helmet of salvation, and the breastplate of justice, and the belt of truth, shoes of peace to go spread the good news. We're ready to go spread the good news. We are, we are the Knights of North Castle. So we are, we are ready for battle wherever we go. We know, we know that we won't, we won't ever be shaken. We wear, we wear the armor that saves us. Oh, we are, we are the Knights of North Castle. We are, we are the Knights of North Castle. All right, kids, jump with me. Ready? Here we go. I love that part. I love that part. Don't y'all love that part? Can you do that again? Come on, do it again, do it again. Everybody, if you want to jump, jump. Oh, oh gosh, I hurt my hip. All right, we're not going to do that again. Amen. Welcome to Gross Bacon United Methodist Church. We kind of celebrate our vacation Bible school week. Woo! <laughs> Amen. Let's pray. Let's pray. Gracious Almighty Lord, we give you thanks and praise that uh, you are the armor of God. You are our armor. And thank you for loving us so much that you provide all of that protection that uh, Paul calls the armor of God. And may your Holy Spirit be with us this morning as we come uh, to praise you and to honor you that you might be glorified and pray that our attention and our focus might be upon you this morning. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God is good? All the time? time? Let's do another song that closes with that big jump thing. Amen. Let's do it again. All right. We got one more song. If you'll notice our Bible verse over here, we have Ephesians 6.10 on our scroll. This next song is the embodiment of that or a song written for that verse. So I I encourage you guys to, to sing along and know what's going on here. Kids, if you know the moves, be strong in the Lord. Stand and move with us. You guys ready? Feel free to come on up with us if you're ready for it. Like hope is gone, be strong, be strong. I will keep on keeping on and be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord in the strength of his power. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Oh, 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 Restore my joy again. I'll be strong in you, Lord. Be strong in the Lord, in the strength of His power. Be strong in the Lord and in His mighty power. Oh, 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 Break it down now. Come on, everybody. It's time to get strong through the power of God. We'll carry on. Come on, everybody. It's time to get strong through the power of God. We'll carry on. If you can. We sold this song. Be strong, be strong. Just come or clap and stomp along and be strong in the Lord. Be strong in the Lord. 
Good stuff. Good stuff. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Well, we've had a great week, and we've got some information to share with y'all. It's been a lot of fun. And Melody, what is on your list? I'm a little bit out of breath. That was a lot of dancing. That was fun. It's so good to see everyone out here, too. Good to see this so filled in. A couple of announcements today. We have the basketball tournament coming up on Thursday, so the 22nd, 6 to 8 p.m. Is it on? Yeah, we need a mic over here. I, I don't hear you. How's this one work? Check. There we go. You got me now. I was just saying I'm so out of breath from all that dancing, but it was lots of fun. Uh, so, okay, a couple of announcements. Basketball tournament, July 22nd, so that's this Thursday, 6 to 8 p.m. If you know any teams, anyone you think would be interested in playing, invite them out. And even if you don't really know basketball that well, we'd still love to have you guys come out, you know, connect in with people that are coming from the community, because that's what this is about. We also have our cruise in. That's going to be August 7th, 4.30 to 8 p.m. We still need help with setup and teardown, so is Ed out here. There you are. There's Ed putting his hand up. So if you want to talk to him afterwards, he's right there, and you can, you can talk to him, and he'll get you figured out. Children's story time with Allison is going to be in the fellowship hall after service. That'll be about 15, 20 minutes, and so it sounds really exciting, really fun. So hopefully you can invite your kids over there to enjoy a little bit of story time. We, let's see, what do I have here? The youth need to go to the fellowship hall after communion. You guys know what that's all about, I guess. And the teardown of VBS is going to happen after church. Lunch will be provided, though, so that's a little bit of the plus that goes with that. Vanessa, if I could have you come up, and then I will just hand you this microphone to make things a little bit easier. Okay. We had a fantastic week for Vacation Bible School this week. <laughs> and kids, give yourself a pat on the back because the kids themselves brought in $1,243.49. <laughs> and then I received some donations from people in the congregation of $569.65. So we have a total of $1,813.14. So we're going to buy two of the gliders to go to Camp Joy. It was a pleasure to have all the kids here. And after communion, we are going to have the kids go next door, and we're going to sugar them up with a Sunday party. So... All right, I'm going to give it back to Pastor Dave. So, yeah, we, we're going to invite you kind of after a few moments. Uh, we'll have a children's moment, and then uh, we'll send the kids back to you. And we're going to do communion, and you're invited to come up uh, and take communion with your child. And, of course, you don't have to. Um, and then they'll kind of, right after communion, you'll head down the sides, parents, and kind of head out the, with your kids. Parents, you have to come back because um, you, don't, you don't get the Sundays. And all the kids are included. Uh, you didn't have to go to VBS. You can come over and have a Sunday, except for Ava. Um, <laughs> Ava Miles, you know, had the opportunity to put a pie in the pastor's face for the second time in three years. So say goodbye to her. She's not coming back to church anymore. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. She had, what a great, if, hey, if anybody's going to pie me, it's Herb wanted to pie me. Man, I didn't want him to pie me. I wanted Ava to pie me. So, hallelujah. Um, we're, yes, sir. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, we're, let's do one more. This was one of the cool songs. The, the band had some really great songs. And on one particular evening, they were talking about how Paul and Silas were imprisoned. And, and as they were in prison, God kind of broke open the prison gates and the Holy Spirit kind of showed up. And, and it was an earthquake, wasn't it, Sammy? It was an earthquake that broke open the, 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 the prison so that God's servants could be released. And so the band had a song. Should we invite the kids to come up? Come on up and help, kids. Come on up and help. This is such a great song. And uh, 
You know what? It pro- might be good for y'all to stand with them. They'll feel better if you stand. Follow them. They know the motions. You just kind of follow along with them, all right? Here we go. We're going to stand up tall and sing about how the power of God is moving us like an earthquake. You guys ready? I said, are you guys ready? <laughs> all right. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oh, oh. Start creeping in The light that once burned bright Is barely flickering It seems like hope is nowhere to be found The only thing to do is shout The name of Jesus loud Feel the ground move, feel the earth shake The power of God is moving like an earthquake See the walls fall, see the chains break the power of God is moving like an earthquake. Feel the ground move, feel the earth shake. The power of God is moving like an earthquake. See the walls fall, see the chains break. The power of God is moving like an earthquake. La 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 la. Your love came and found me, took me by the hand. Your grace made a way, don't need a second chance. Cause I was once a prisoner, now I'm free Sin forever lost its grip on me, so I will sing Feel the ground move, feel the earth shake The power of God is moving like an earthquake See the walls fall, see the chains break The power of God is moving like an earthquake Feel the ground move, feel the earth shake The power of God is like an earthquake see the walls fall see the chains break the power of god is moving like an earthquake la 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 so put your hands in the air and feet on the floor let's shake 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 shake, shake like an earthquake hands in the air feet on the floor let's shake 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 like an earthquake hands in the air feet on the floor let's shake 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 like an earthquake hands in the air Feel the ground move, feel the earth shake. The power of God is moving like an earthquake. See the walls fall, see the chains break. The power of God is moving like an earthquake. Feel the ground move, feel the earth shake. The power of God is moving like an earthquake. See the walls fall, see the chains break. The power of God is moving like an earthquake. La 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 la. Oh. You guys ready to jump with me? Here we go. One, two. Have a seat. Have a seat. Have... Yay. Children, children. Wait. Don't come forward, children. Please come forward. It's time for children's moments. I have a special message for you. I have come back. I have come back. Yeah. Come on, kids. Come on up. We're going to talk about the armor of God. Those of you who are knights of the North Castle. Very good, very good. Now I have to, I have to leave for a moment. I have to leave for a moment, but I'll be right back, kids. I'll be right back. Goodbye. Well, hello there. Hello. Of course you knew I would come back, didn't you? Do you know what? It helps to be a magic dragon. Because sometimes a magic dragon can make himself bigger. (laughs) Where is my apprentice? My squire, please come forward. Look at him. Sir Jürgen, do you remember him? 
Look at all the armor he has on. Oh my goodness sakes. Look at that. Is this the armor of God? No, it's not. What does that armor do for Jürgen? Kids, what do you think? How does that armor help Sir Jürgen? Yes, there's a stone and a dragon back there, Ben. Yeah. We're going to find out all kinds of new things up here. Well, you know what? Here's what we learned. That armor often protects a knight, doesn't it? Protects his head, protects his chest. He wears a belt to hold everything together. He's got shoes so he can walk a long way. He's got a sword. But what we discovered with the armor of God, you don't need armor, do you? Why don't you need any armor? I, I know, I know this one. Yes, Sammy, what is it? God's protection is right there with you, right? Why does God protect you, Ava? Oh, very good! Get this young girl another pie! <laughs> don't, don't get her another pie. Exactly. Because God loves you, Tegan. Because God loves you, Bree. Because God loves you, Danielle. He loves you, so he protects you with his armor, which is actually better than this armor. God has a shield. Remember? It's the shield of faith, Reuben. Exactly. So that no arrow, nothing can pierce you, my good man, Sir Reuben. Right? It's almost like if my good, uh, my good squire Jürgen was, would be kind of like Sammy, kind of like Jesus. If he were walking with me, every, watch this. Walk this way. Well, Sammy, what if your dad came up to me, and your dad, he's a, he's a strong guy, isn't he? And I'm just standing here, dad's like, I'm going to get you, Pastor Dave. But I got Jürgen here, <laughs> right? If he sees Jürgen, he's like, I'm not messing with Pastor Dave. Why? Because God loves you, right? Because God loves you. And so Ava, what he gives you is he gives you this armor that is invisible. It's, it's God's Holy Spirit that is with you. Jürgen... Good Jürgen doesn't have to wear all that because God, yeah, <laughs> but he's been such a good sport. You know what? It's kind of like this. Why don't our ladies, can you sing about it? Jürgen, come this way if you would. Listen to what they have to sing. You can have a seat, Jürgen, if you want to. That armor set. I know a story, I know that it's true And if you listen, I'll tell it to you I'm something changed me and made me new Talking about the love of God A love that gave me a song to sing And made my winters turn into spring And gave new meaning to everything Talking about the love of God not long ago, my rebel heart wanted to doubt him, but now I know that I'd be nothing without him. Though I may stumble when courage is gone, still there is something that beckons me on, a mighty power to lead upon, talking about the love of God.
talking about the love of God. So kids, why don't you head back to your parents? We're going to move into a time uh, of uh, communion. One moment. Oh, gosh. Excuse me for a second. I have to... I mean, uh, Sparky's not been vaccinated. That's why I wear a mask. Very conscious of that. There we go. But my mic gets all tangled up there. So, parents, uh, here's how we do things here. I know we have guests with us, and I... I don't want to compel you. Uh, the communion table is just open. And, uh, you know, if for some reason, it, you know, that is just, uh, you practice that in a particular way and in your own uh, faith community, uh, we certainly understand that. And so we just invite you to come forward. Now, here's how we do it. We consecrate these elements here uh, in front of us. Um, then we have communion servers who will... Uh, do a couple of things. Uh, Diana and I will stand up here and we'll tear a piece of bread off and we invite you to kind of open your hand and um, we'll tear that bread off and put it in your hand and then you can come over here and one of our communion servers will put a, one of our cups uh, on one of these pedestals that you can uh, take the body and the blood right here. You're certainly welcome to take one of these uh, prepackaged ones if, if you feel more comfortable doing that, or if you just want to come up um, and uh, uh, kind of participate, but then, you know, maybe not take communion. Th for those of you in your, in your seats, if, if you want to participate in communion, but you, you don't want to make the trek up here, we will walk down the aisle if you kind of get our attention to let us know. So uh, let, let's, let's talk about what Jesus did for us. You know, talking about the love of God right? And the love of God was that uh, Jesus was the Son of God. And he stayed focused on that uh, throughout his entire ministry. You know, he blessed people. He found ways to, uh, to meet folks' needs when they cried out, but he was heading right towards Jerusalem. And when he got to Jerusalem, his eyes were on the cross. It was uh, uh, a tough gig, wasn't it? But nonetheless, he was faithful. His faithfulness was like a rock, you know? And so he gathered, even at this dinner time, when the, the disciples thought it was kind of a celebration, he, he knew what was going to come after that. And so they gathered at this table. He took a loaf of bread, gave thanks to his Father in heaven, and said, this is my body broken for you. Take and eat. And he took a cup of wine that they would share together, gave thanks to his Father in heaven, and he said, this is my blood shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of your sins. Take and drink and remember me. Let us pray. Gracious Almighty Lord, we give you thanks and praise for what you did for us, for how you loved us so deeply. It's beyond our comprehension that you opened the doors of salvation for us, defeated sin and death. And Lord, uh, through the power of your Holy Spirit, may your Spirit, descend upon these elements of bread and cup that they may become your body and blood, that as we partake of them, we may become your body and blood. That people might see your mercy, your grace, your love in us until you, Jesus, come again in all of your glory. We ask this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to invite my communion team to come forward. And again, parents, if you come up uh, on your way out, you can send your kids over for an ice cream sundae. Isn't that delicious? Uh, the table is prepared. And ushers, please wait upon us.
Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the room, you're here and I know you are moving. I'm here and I know you will feel me calm down. Spirit, when you move, you make my heart pound. When you feel the room, you're here. You're here and I know you are moving I'm here and I know you are 
sing Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, come rest on us. You're all we want. You're all we want. this next moment, we're going to do our prayer time. Oh, sorry. Ben's, Ben's got this. Here we go. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll try. Um, so as we move into prayer time, uh, will you please join in singing with me, My Hope is Built. It's number 368 in the blue hymnal. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. When darkness fails his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground. His covenant, His blood, support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, He then is all my hope and stay. On Christ. 
of that. Now, when you don't see it, don't uh, uh, assume that God isn't moving, just maybe not in a way that you, is visible to you. Uh, one prayer concern I want to lift up, Deidre, don't just kind of, there's Deidre, look at her heading out. I came in this morning, and on Friday night, I think it was Friday night, their house was hit by lightning. Put a hole right through the roof and uh, zapped a whole bunch of stuff. But the house is standing. Um, everybody's okay. They have to buy a few things, and what I said to her is, if there were a, uh, a ride at King's Island where you could experience uh, lightning right in front of you and survive, you'd probably pay some money to do that. So thank God, but, but keep uh, she and Matt, you know, uh, she said she saw the lightning hit and it sounded like, you know, a bomb dropped on the house. You can only imagine, right? So let's move into a time where we pray for one another. We just pray for one another. Whether you get the prayer, whether you don't get the prayer, whether you understand how God's working or whether you don't, because God's working. Let's pray. Gracious Lord, thank you. We, we just are filled with a sense of gratitude that we have an opportunity uh, to influence young people, and then at the same time for them to influence us. And, and thank you for bringing us together in this past week, and we can celebrate it here on Sunday morning. Uh, the faithfulness of your servants, the faithfulness of your children. And Lord, we pray for faithfulness that we would strive to believe and to put our trust in you and then to exhibit that every single day. And Lord, today, as the song has said, Jesus is our rock. Allow, say that with me. Jesus is our rock. Jesus is my rock. Lord, may we own that and know that, that um, you are solid. And because of that, we're okay. So bless us and guide us. We live in a conflicted world. It's clear to see that it's a fallen world. And I pray that you guide us, that we might express the kingdom in our families, in our community, in our church, that we might bring some, some light into the darkness. We pray for this broken world and pray that that people might see your love, your grace, your mercy. Bind us together, those that are, are part of this particular church and, and part of the community, that we might sense a unity amongst us as we pray like so many people, millions if not billions around the world. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We're, we're going to um, celebrate our offering. Uh, those of you who are part of the church, you know we've not been passing a plate for a while. We've been finding other ways. Uh, put the offering in the basket as you leave or virtually or send it in or and and it, of course it's worked beautifully you've you've been faithful to that um, and for, for those of your guests we don't uh, I encourage you to find a, a way to express that grace of God out in the community some way um, you know buy somebody lunch or bless somebody but here's what we believe about the offering it's not the plate right R the, the, the the book of Romans says that that we offer ourselves, 
That, that is our offering, that we take what, the gifts and graces that God has blessed us with and we give them to the kingdom and pray that each day God might bless that. So we celebrate this offering and let us pray over that offering. Gracious Lord, indeed, bless uh, our thoughts, the work of our hands, uh, our heart, our passions, each and every day that we might strive for that faithfulness, that the kingdom might be blessed because we give it to you. Simple tasks, complicated tasks. Lord, we offer them and pray that you would bless all that we bring. And we ask this in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We have Christina, I think, is going to play us something for the offering. You can't see her, but she's back here somewhere. Okay, so scripture today is the same ones that I've done the last two weeks. You didn't have the chapter here, sorry. <laughs> it's Galatians 5, 16 through 26, and then Matthew 5, 48. So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh, for the flesh desires what is contrary to the spirit, and the spirit what is contrary to the flesh. You are in conflict with each other, so that you are not to do whatever you want. But if you are led by the spirit, you are not under the law. The acts of the flesh are obvious. Sexual immorality, impurity, debauchery, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambitions, dissensions, factions, and envy, 
drunkenness, orgies, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Jesus Christ, Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Again, Matthew 5, 48. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Word of God for the people of God. Let us pray. Gracious Almighty Lord, thank you for the reading of your holy word, and I pray that the words of my mouth, the meditation of my heart, be, might be acceptable to thee, for you are my rock and my redeemer. Amen. So, so we've been talking about the fruit of the Spirit and, and how it's a product. It's not something where, you know, be good or, or ha be joyful. You can't fake that stuff. It's like fruit. It, it's based on a cultivated, vibrant relationship with Jesus. That's what it is. It's a product. Thus, today we're talking about faithfulness as a fruit of the Spirit. And what we're not talking about is faith. The Scriptures talk a lot about faith. It's good stuff. You know, where uh, uh, Paul says in Romans, you know, confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord. That, you know, he died on the cross. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the grave. That's faith, Right? And, and really, for the fruit of the Spirit, uh, you need faith. You need to have that belief, that kind of trust. And then a product of that is faithfulness. Faithfulness is a product. And here's what I would say. Who wants to live, this is kind of a, a saying these days, your best life, right? Now, we don't always live our best life. You know, when I was on the basketball court with the guys trying to play, and my hip hurt, and my back hurt, and my knee hurt, it really wasn't my best life, right? I wish I would have been young and vibrant like Jake. It would have been much better. You know, we have those moments, but we want to live our best life, right? Now, there are people we know, you know, uh, we probably know our spouses or our parents intimately. My father was a good man. And, and in his best life, he had a lot of integrity. And he wanted uh, 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 to pass on blessing to other people when he was living his best life. Now, my dad had flaws, let me tell you something. You know, just like you and me. But, but he, he tried to live his best life. When he found faith, you know, in the midst of struggle, by the way, he had to have a pretty massive stroke to get to a point where he realized that he had to trust God. And then he started living, I think, his best life. My mom is, a, is very different than my father. She's passionate, and she's convicted, and she will be loyal to you. Man, she will not. If she's on your side, she's, you don't want my dad in the alley. You want my mom. Somehow she'll lick you, you know, if you're going to mess with me, right? And, and, and again, mom had flaws, you know, but... but you could see, and in faith, she lived her best, best life. You know, and, and that's what faithfulness is. It's a product of faith. It's a product of a vibrant relationship, but, but it, it brings out, I think, our best life. Hebrews says, if I can find it in my notes here, faith is confidence in what we hope for and assurance about what we do not see confidence and assurance. I think it's a lot like, uh, to me, a description of this would be Muhammad Ali and Tom Brady. I know. But listen, Muhammad Ali, who was this dude? I am the greatest. I'm the prettiest. I'm the smartest, right? And he just kept spewing it out right? until really you kind of had to throw up. But he believed he was the greatest. He took that confidence into the ring. I don't know if he was the greatest, but he was great. Now, Tom Brady, you know, he doesn't do that. He's the GOAT. And here's the thing. 
If you're a football player uh, in the big game, in the big moment, the last guy you want to compete with is that guy. You know, you know if, if Dave is Tom and I'm looking at him and Dave's just going, I'm going to whoop you. No, you're not. I'm going to whoop you. You're not going to whoop me. And I, and I look over and go, I think he's going to whoop me. Because, you know, we know he's the GOAT. See, see that's the thing about faithfulness. You know, Jesus, Peter, in the Scriptures, knew Jesus was great. He looked at, at Jesus and he saw him going, I'm the greatest. No, Jesus wouldn't do that. But he, he saw greatness in him. He knew he was the guy. If you want anybody on your team, he thought, it's this guy, Jesus. Now, Peter had flaws, as we know, but nonetheless, he knew it. You can look at Peter's life and say, what are the roadblocks? Well, I mean, uh, Peter, bold, passionate. And what's he do? He gets out of the boat. The other guys are all scared to death. Pete gets out of the boat, and he keeps his eye on Jesus, and he starts walking on water. Man, but what happens? Storm. He gets distracted. Oh, man, that's a roadblock to faithfulness. Now, you know, Jesus says, who am I? Peter says, you're the son of God. I mean, he was the only one bold enough to, to get out there and say, I know who you are. You're the man, baby. You're the greatest. You're the son of God. Now, Scripture doesn't say that. I'm ab-libbing a little bit. But nonetheless, he gets out there. Then the same moment that Jesus keeps walking and talking, he talks about the cross. Pete gets in front of him. Now, we ain't going to let nothing happen to you. Come on, Peter. Get behind me where you belong. Get you back, Satan. You know, Peter had that, that faithfulness to know who stood in front of him, but he couldn't get out of the way. You know, even when Jesus was going to the cross, what's Pete do? Pulls out a sword. Man, I'm going to help you, man. I got this, baby. Have it take a seat. Jesus is like, man, dude, put that sword away. Right? Because Peter just, he got in front of himself. Those were roadblocks, distractions, expectations, doubts, fears, but the man was in. That's why Jesus calls him the rock. Now, what's it take? What is this fruitfulness for you and I? You know, well, we, we exemplify uh, the character of God, which is faithfulness. The, the, the character of God is faithfulness. It's kind of like this. Um, you know, a guy, uh, he comes into a, a place, a and he's got a picture, and, and, he, and it's framed up, and he says, my girlfriend. Very good. Nice. Can I get that blown up? Sure, sure. We can do that for you. Give us an hour, and, uh, and come back, and we'll give you the picture back and, and give you the, uh, uh, the blown up picture. Okay, good. Leave. So the guy takes the picture out of the frame. Now the, on the back of it says, Tom, I'm so glad God allowed me to find you. You're the man for me. I'm going to love you till the end of time. You are my sunshine in the middle of the darkness. Right? Oh, it's so beautiful. And then it says, P.S. By the way, if we break up, I want this picture back. <laughs> See, God doesn't have a, God doesn't have a, a, a P.S. God's in. He's unstoppable for you. He, he believes in you. He has faith in you. Always. He will never give up on you. Ed, you can try to get in the way, but he's going to keep coming, and he's going to keep coming, and he's going to keep coming, because he loves you with such depth that you can't even imagine. And, and here's what I want to say. This is, the key here is, Jesus says to Peter, you're the rock, man. And that's what I want to say. God is the rock. So, you want to exhibit faithfulness? Be like this rock. Right there. Let's look at that for a bit. Be like that. Be like that rock. If you're like that rock, when Jesus says, be perfect like your Father in heaven is perfect, that's it right there. There it is. That's how to do it. Be a rock. I want to toss this at somebody, but I'm afraid <laughs> it will end poorly. David, you're a rock, baby. Debbie, you're a rock. Faithfulness develops uh, in you like a rock. You know, water, you take, a little bit of, you take a little bit of passion and emotion out of water, what does it do? It freezes up. Oh, yeah, fine. I ain't talking to you, Jake, either. 
You know, you turn the heat up a little bit on water, it starts getting agitated, and pretty soon it takes off, boils, and goes away. Man, a rock is there. It's solid. That rock right here, it's always a rock. It never ain't a rock. And it's, it exemplifies who God is. Jesus is the rock. Why, Eric? He don't change. He's in. He's in for you. He's after you. He's going to get you. He's going to love you. He won't cut you loose, ever. He's like a rock. That's faithfulness. Now, now, when we doubt, when we allow the storm, when we allow the distractions, when we allow sin or expectations, when we get a front, in front of God, we ain't a rock no more. But when, like Peter in the storm, if we keep our eyes right where they need to be, on Jesus, we will live. You will live your best life. You want to be the best husband? You want to be the best father? You want to be the best son? The best member of your community? The, the, the best servant of the king? Be a rock. Be a rock. Be perfect like your Father in heaven is. Be the man or the woman you were born to be and stay right on that. Don't get too cold, too hot. I'm not saying be boring. Just be a rock. Peter was a rock. And after the resurrection, after Jesus invited him back, he became the beginning of the church. Why? Man, he was a rock. He was solid. That is faithfulness. Let's pray. Thank you, Father, for giving us your son, the rock, that we could stand on. Solid right until the end. He knew his purpose and he delivered for us. And Lord, help us to make sure that we keep our eyes on you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, that we have a vibrant relationship with you, that indeed each day we may exhibit that faithfulness and live the life you've intended us to live, our best life. It's in your name, Jesus, we pray. Amen. I think we're going to, oh, unstoppable? Amen. Unstoppable right? God. Perfect. <laughs> Stand and sing together with us as we sing to that rock that we can believe in and we can stay in because he indeed is unstoppable and never changes. Unstoppable God. Stand and sing with us. One, two, one, two, three, four. was born life begins and ends in the dust you formed faith commanded and the mountains moved fear is losing ground to our hope in you unstoppable God let your glory go on and on impossible things in your name they shall be done oh freedom conquered all our chains undone sin defeated Jesus has overcome Mercy triumph when the third day dawn. Darkness was denied when the storm was gone. Yeah, unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Oh. Now 
nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Oh, oh, oh. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Yeah, unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. an unstoppable God that we can trust in, we can be faithful to, and he will help us to be indeed perfect in faith through him. Amen? Amen. God bless you all. Have a great week. We'll see you next one. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Nothing shall be impossible. Your kingdom reigns unstoppable. We'll shout your praise forevermore. Jesus, our God, unstoppable. Go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done. Unstoppable God, let your glory go on and on. Impossible things in your name, they shall be done.